Hi, my name is Gord Parker. I'm a structure protection specialist in British Columbia. And I'm here in California working with Ember Defense and Wasp Wildfire. And we're introducing a sprinkler program here in California to hopefully increase the survivability of structures that are threatened by wildfire. The successes that we've had over the years in British Columbia, we want to try and bring a few tools to the toolbox in California, give you a couple of different options. We can put sprinklers in where we don't want to put people. When the situation is very dangerous or extreme, if we can get in and put sprinklers up, that means we don't have to put firefighters in there and hopefully that the sprinklers on the buildings will give the homeowners confidence to evacuate when they're supposed to evacuate as well. We have a two-day course going on. Day one, we did the theory. We learned about sprinkler systems. We learned about strategies and tactics. Day two is what we learned in the classroom. We got to bring it out to the field. We set up our sprinkler systems. We set up our pumping systems. And we're here to make mistakes on the training ground. And we're gonna go over things really closely about water damage. So if streams are hitting structures in the wrong spot, we wanna make sure that those are corrected. The best practice is really for getting sprinklers up and being effective when fire comes. Hi, my name is Devin LeBlanc. I'm the co-founder and CTO at Ember Defense. We partnered up with WASP looking for technologies that are proven. It's no different than what equipment is being used out there on current fires today. We're just adapting it in a way that the Canadians have been using for decades and applying that here in the U.S. We're not only training our staff, but it's also training customers at Ember Defense that have invested in this equipment and their teams are going through the exact same training we are to better protect themselves for this upcoming wildfire season. My name is Herb Westwall and I'm the property manager of Peter Michael Winery. I've been there for 30 years and through that time we've experienced a lot of fire scenarios on the property and after the Tubbs fire we were introduced to Amber Defense and having the training that they've given to us has been fantastic, very helpful for us to understand the science side of fire and actually deploying the equipment and seeing it in action, seeing what the problems are and adapting that we know that our property will hopefully be impenetrable. There's no silver bullet here, for sure, but what we do by putting water on the ground, raising the fuel moisture contents, is increasing that survivability chance. And if we couple that with firewise principles, house hardening, working on fuel mitigation, together we can really increase the survivability of our values. So hopefully we'll see some successes soon like we've had in British Columbia.